Greetings everyone and welcome back to Hungry Masha channel. Recently I was in Italy where I was eating a lot of pasta carbonara. This is an iconic Italian dish. Its recipe and cooking techniques have sparkled many debates among chefs and food enthusiasts. However, today I'm not going to cook the classic version of carbonara, but a Michelin star version. Are you ready? Let's go! go, 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 go. The recipe I'm going to use today was created by Heinz Beck. He is the chef of the three Michelin star restaurant La Pergola in Rome. The main difference is that we are going to put the egg inside the pasta. But to begin with, we need to make the dough. For the dough, I need 100 grams of flour. I add a pinch of salt into it. Then I break one egg into another bowl and add one teaspoon of olive oil. I whisk the egg a bit and gradually add it into the flour. By the way, Heinz Beck doesn't share his recipe of the dough. So it's my recipe that I used a few times before. I mix the dough with a fork in the beginning. Then with hands. And finally I knead it on the kitchen counter. It took me 10 minutes to knead the dough. It's very hard, but don't add water into it. Then I wrapped the dough into cling film and left it at room temperature for 30 minutes. Now we will prepare the egg filling according to Heinz Beck's recipe. I take two eggs and separate whites from yolks. I will use just yolks. I know that many chefs use both, but we are trying Heinz Beck's recipe, so we will take just yolks. Then I add 40 grams of grated pecorino cheese. It doesn't say exactly how many grams we need, it's my gut feeling. And now I'm going to commit a crime and add a spoon of cream. I hope that I won't be arrested in Italy after doing this. But if a Michelin chef does it, probably it's not so dangerous. I mix the egg filling again and put it into the fridge. It's time to roll out our dough. It's not so easy to roll it out. It would be easier if you had a pasta maker. But I know that not everyone has it. I don't have it either. So I have to do it with a rolling pin. And now we can put our egg filling into the dough and cut out our fagotelli. Also, I think my fagotelli will look more like ravioli. I put some egg to stick the two sides together. them into the fridge. I put the water on to boil and in the meantime I will cut pancetta. Normally you put guanciale into carbonara, but even Heinz Beck says that you can replace it with pancetta if you can find guanciale. We will take guanciale. Guanciale is a dried pork chick and marinated. If you don't get them in uh, America, you can use fresh pancetta as well. I cut it into thin strips. I prefer big chunks of guanciale in my pasta when it's crunchy outside, but we are cooking a Michelin version of carbonara today. I put some olive oil into the pan. I think you can fry pancetta without oil because the fat will melt and the pancetta will fry in it. But let's respect the recipe. I fry pancetta. In the meantime, my water started boiling, so I put my pasta into it. I will boil it for 2-3 minutes because I don't want the egg to be too cooked. I think the pasta is ready. I put it into the pan with pancetta, adding a bit of water from pasta. Now I serve my pasta carbonara, putting the pancetta on top of it. But let's see what is inside. Let me remind you how Heinz bags for Gatelli look inside.
Now let's cut mine. It's a failure. I don't understand what went wrong, but the sauce is not oozing. The egg is either too cooked or not cooked enough. The taste is quite okay, you can feel the very strong flavor of pecorino and pancetta. But unfortunately the sauce is not creamy. Unfortunately the dish didn't come out as I expected. It's still good, but I prefer the classic carbonara. I'm sure that if you go to La Pargola restaurant, you will have an amazing experience. And I hope that soon I will come back to Rome to try this pasta. Thank you for watching us and see you soon. After the scrumonara failure, I had some egg mixed with pecorino left, so I decided to make classic spaghetti carbonara. I just added some hot water from pasta into the egg to make the sauce. My second carbonara was perfect, very creamy.